Hi everybody, I was at Tycon a couple of weeks ago I, and I got an opportunity to listen to a few startup pitches. One of the questions that came up frequently during those conversations was, should a startup founder have co-founders? Should there be more than one person in the founding team? And here's my perspective on things. I think you should absolutely have a co-founder. It's important uh, to have a co-founder. You can have um, uh, at the most three co-founders. You know, three is a little too much. Two is uh, better. Uh, you know, but but the founding team should definitely be more than one person. And here is why I think that. First of all, the journey to the startup world is uh, stressful. You know. There would be times if that it will be very lonely up there after your conversations with the VCs as you take the product into the market or even when you start talking to people about your startup idea. Having a co-founder gives you an opportunity to uh, have a person whom with, you, with whom you can bounce up ideas, whom you, with whom you can be truly vulnerable and who is part of your journey who is as invested as you are in the journey and that helps a lot. The second thing, second reason why you need a co-founder is uh, to complement your skill set. So for example, if you look at me, I'm more of a business person, I'm, custom, I'm enablement, I am, you know, I'm go to market. Um, but what I do not have as a skill set is to be able to lead the engineering teams. And so if I found a startup, that's what I would be looking for in a in a co-founder. And you know, people people say, oh, this is my friend, this is my family member, let's make them a co-founder. But that's not what a co-founder should be. A co-founder should be someone who complements your skill set, who helps you lead better because he or she has that understanding that you do not um, in terms of leading the team or in terms of leading the functions. And the third reason why you should uh, you might want to look at a co-founder is um, for financial reasons, right? You are bootstrapping something and you know you can't bootstrap um, all of it and you're not at the stage where you are open to angel investors or to VCs, but you still need some kind of money uh, to put into your business and that's when you can look for co-founders as well so that you do not have to go all in and you still have that supporting uh, um, support from another co-founder. But again, when you start looking for co-founders, it's important that you do a few things, right? You, um, you understand other person's values and see um, if those values work for you or not. It's very, very important. It's going to be a long journey. It's going to be a hard journey too. And there would be times when you'll have to make decisions um, that, that would be hard. And um, you know, it's important to understand whether your values jive with the values of the co-founder or not. The second thing that you want to look for is the chemistry, like, right, you can't be butting horns with each other all the time, but there should be times when, I when you should be able to talk about things freely without, uh, without the fear of how the other person is going to perceive it, right? And to be able to make the decisions that ri that's right for the startup versus what's right for you or for the other co-founder. So to give you an example, one of my friends who is a serial entrepreneur in the Silicon Valley um, and, um, and comes from a technical background. So what he does is he spins off these companies, but he appoints CEOs in these companies. He is not the CEO. And the reason why he is not the CEO, he told me was because Rashim, I don't have the domain knowledge, right? I don't know about the industry. I don't know about the vertical. I know about the technology. So that's why I bring in these smart CEOs who know how to run the business in that vertical. And that's perfectly right. That's the right way to go about it. So, um, so that's, that's my view on whether you should have a co-founder or not in, in your startup. Let me know what you think about um, having co-founders in the startup and what's your perspective. I'll be reading all the comments and replying to them. Bye.